Hello friends, how are you doing? Now, the great agents of uh, HNIB have uh, delivered a cache of documents after a thorough investigation that has lasted for eight months. It is so comprehensive that even through this uh, social address, social media address, I'm unable to cover everything. But I will definitely cover a few things of interest. And then over the next two days, I will slowly unleash document by document on the different issues. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. Let's start uh, the process of exposing these people who have generally been stealing from the sick and from Kenyans, and at the same time pretending to be uh, to, pretending to hold a higher moral ground. Um, what I will do, let's agree, because I also need to go to Twitter for a spaces that's already advertised. What I will do, I will go through the general, as you can see from this table, I have document after document, and some documents are up to 50, uh, 30, 50 pages document can serve. This, some of them are commitment letters, some of the, uh, to avoid the procurement. Some of them, you can even see they have had writing saying, please assist. And uh, basically, some of them even have names and addresses of who to be assisted. You know, procurement director, please assist. This is a Jubilee referral. Please assist. This is one of our own. There is even stamp for some of them dated 7th July. Some of them, interestingly, on the same day, you see like George Theuri of Geokim Supplies. I have document after document. These documents are going to be uploaded on a PDF on our website near you. Um, I, I've been talking to some bloggers and uh, people who own uh, blogs and websites so that they can upload the PDF. So the PDF will be uploaded by at least 40 bloggers who I have contacted and I'm working with, have agreed to work with me on this one so that they can be able to upload it. So the documents are there, they will be uploaded. Beyond that, there is a bigger document that then shows which company it is, when was the contract done, when did they, uh, what was the reason for award, was it an, uh, a direct procurement? and uh, was it uh, emergency the list of directors shareholders and beneficial owners nationality of the directors because you'll find some who are not even kenyans and then of course the postal addresses so what we have is a legit thing um you obviously expect after this there will be several people raising different issues as they always do but we are ready for them because this has been a comprehensive investigation um which builds up on what has been happening so let's get into it uh we are going to start off uh we're going to start off our exposure with a uh, with uh, saying exactly who who benefited and who who benefited out of this so i'll start with the uhu president uhuru kenyatta's family ziwala limited Ziwara Limited had several contracts and Ziwara Limited is a is got first there was a contract on the 30th on the 30th of June 2020 and uh, of PO Box 43250-00100 Ziwara Limited got on that day 84 million Kenya shillings 84 million Kenya shillings Ziwara Limited is registered under Nyokafi, who is a who is a sister to President Uhuru Kenyatta, and Catherine Kihanya, who is also a relative of President Uhuru Kenyatta. After that, we go to Gideon Moy. Gideon Moy. First, what he procured directly, African Harbour Company. As I said, the figures and the documents are going to be uploaded later if you want to follow up. For now, I'll just do a general summary. So African Harbour that uh, was negotiated for, whether it belongs to him or... But he's the one who pushed Kemsa to give that award. That's African Harbour. Then there's Mega Trading. He also used Everywhere Distributors. Everywhere Distributors. That's Gideon Moy. Gideon Moy is also closely mentioned in a company that for a long time we have uh, has always been associated publicly with uh, Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja but uh, our investigations show 
that shop and buy was pushed for and fronted by Gideon Moy. Then there is Amic Limited. Amic Limited is an interesting company that has uh, supplies furniture. But in this, but all of a sudden became an expert in uh, supplying supplying medical supplies. This company belongs to one Kibicho. Belongs to Kibicho, Amic Limited. And if it doesn't belong to him, he's the one who technically pushed for the award or for the award from Kemsa. Then from there, Hon Rabokwenya, Hon Rabokwenya drew light up. Uh, where I'm able to pull the documents immediately, I'll pull them up for you. But uh, even if I don't manage to pull, like uh, for instance, uh, this is a document that has Ziwala Limited, which was at this point awarded 30 pieces of the, of the N95 face mask. Ziwala is an interesting company. Uh, signed by June Kenya, who is the managing director, they had uh, written to Kemsa on the 27th of April, and on 28th April, they had an answer awarding them. So on 27th April 2020, they wrote and said, we have imported respiratory masks that are being used by medical personnel to help in meeting the high demand for the same during the COVID-19 during the COVID-19 issue. And they, they went on to list 800 per mask, quantity 30,000. And as you can see, there is a CEO office uh, received stamp. Then there is Yuala Limited, their stamp. And Jude Kenya, the managing director, who had signed it off, and they say they are on Giga Road, off Kunde Road, Valley Arcade. And uh, there is an interesting thing that happens on the whole of this thing. The procurement director is instructed to facilitate on the 28th of April. Immediately that is given, remember this was just a day after, immediately that is given, there is a commitment letter issued from Kemsa. The government of Kenya is prepared to respond to coronavirus threats and blah, 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 and you are therefore requested to supply the quantities Listen to this. You will therefore request to supply the quantities for the mentioned commodities to Kemsa and Bakasi Warehouse on or before Friday 8th May in response to the emergency. The procurement process will commence thereafter. So supply, get paid, then we do the procurement. And uh, the, please note your supplies will be accepted using a delivery note as the other document shall follow to facilitate payment. And this is paid to Catherine Kihanya and the ID number is listed there. I'll continue pulling up uh, documents as uh, I see them. Um, so, uh, uh, the next person is Governor Kuti through Bluto Company. Then there is Senator Bito. Senator Bito through Senator Bito through uh, Senator Bito through a company called BML Industries. BML Industries. Just need to check with my technical guys whether everything is still okay. They are telling me I heads up. So BML, actually BML Logistics. That's Senator Bito. Kanini Kega. You know, these people who have always told us about corruption and the way they want to be to do a different thing. Fronted Power Options. A company called Power Options. Catherine Kehanya again is mentioned on a company called Sadels International and still with Nyox or Nyokabi. Then and in law of the former chairman of Kemsa, that's Kembi, the former senator of Moranga, had a company called Zikotex ZA, which also supplied during this time. Then there is Honra Bokwenya through a company called Light Up. Of course, I've mentioned uh, Kibicho, and I've also mentioned uh, Gideon Moy. Um, then, Munga, the banker, through a company called Zanitoria Nuts supplied. Then of course there is Medlife by Hondra Bomisha. Now you understand why he's having a very difficult time joining the most popular party in his area because of course they have something they are holding on him through Medlife. Then there is Muranga Woman Rep, Sabina Chege through Proteta Holdings. Proteta Holdings is specifically very interesting and I will try before the end of this broadcast to get you Protector Holdings. I'm sorry, I hadn't really, because you see, I've also come from work. We've been going around uh, uh, up uh, what you'd call Eastern, the former Eastern Province. So I've just arrived. And uh, maybe we can go back to Kibicho, which was Army Limited. Army Limited writes on 22nd of April, and they get a commitment letter on the same day 
and uh, it is awarded to the, the person who is handling it is called Rosalind Boogie. If you Google Rosalind Boogie, you'll find some very interesting cases, but <laughs> because you know these are all furniture companies, it's all based on, on furniture. So it's an interesting place to get. I'll try within our oh, Proteta Holdings. So Proteta Holdings, which I've told you Sabina Chegues, has a commitment letter that is issued on the 26th of March 2020. Remember, this is just a few days after we discovered our first case. And this is issued to a guy called Meshak Ndungu. Meshak Ndungu. They get surgical gloves, 7.5, 50 pieces, and 20, no, 20,000 pieces of that. Um, guys, I will appreciate if you don't call, because then you are also in the process of doing something. Even if you are calling on WhatsApp, don't call for now. Um, uh, then uh, there is a, uh, that's Proteta Holdings, through Meshak Ndungu. Uh, that's Proteta, which is owned by Sabina which was funded by Sabina. Then, the interesting thing, Mount Kenya Foundation. Remember this, Mount Kenya Foundation has been telling us they are interviewing for us, the next president. Through Bell Industries, which I had seen earlier, our uh, Bell Industries is here, supplied several, and one of, uh, one of these in Bell Industries is, uh, is, done, is done through Stephen Tiga of 072287 and N01. On Monday, 26th May, they get an emergency procurement of infrared thermometers. That's Ibui. And that company, uh, when I get it here, I'll tell you exactly who else is involved because it's almost the entire, the, his family that is uh, used, to, used to do this. But anyway, as I said, on a website near you, you will get that. Then, there is also Duke Agencies, Duke Agencies, Chisky Tony. Then there is Sagana Holdings, again, Kembi Gitura. Then there is Joya Kim, Kagwe, Kagwe, Kagwe. This country, we have a problem. Kagwe, Joya Kim. Then there is Kaperina. Now, this Kaperina, it's very unfortunate. It be, it's registered under the family, three family members of Meru Senator Kiraito Murungi. And that explains to you what is going on. Then Escopa. You know, Escopa is more basically just like uh, the Escobar involved in the uh, drug heist movies and who was uh, actually a real person who escaped, who had an issue about drugs. Escobar belongs to CAS Rachel Shebesh. Then there is Sirem, again fronted by Sabina Chege. Then there is Bremer fronted by Senate Speaker Lusaka. Then Medlife of Mishra. Mishra, Mishra, that's Medlife. Then there is Meraki, again fronted by Sabina. Then there is Akencha, Asencha, Akencha. I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but it's A-C-C-E-N-T-U-R-E, Asencha, fronted by one David Murade. David Murade, who's been on TV denying every possible thing but now we have evidence that completely nails him and puts him at the front of it then there is trons trons company again fronted by shebesh shebesh ladies and gentlemen that becomes the general feel of it there is a lot of other people mentioned here we have a list that goes to almost uh, goes to almost this one, 200 and, uh, no, 360 people who are involved in this thing. I only mentioned the ones who would be of great interest to a country because of the positions they hold and the claims they have made in public as opposed to what they are doing in private in darkness. We will continue exposing this for the next two, three days. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, you have it. That is how the Kemsa theft was done. Thank you very much. Let's now meet on Twitter where we are going to have a Twitter space in a few. Thank you very much. See you later, guys. Thank you very much.